Will they? Won't they? They did. Then they immediately undid. Or undid at least for three weeks. While we were all consumed with the government shutdown soap opera, you may have missed a major change that could have a huge impact on the health of women and the LGBTQ community. Pence admitted that he believes in a woman's right to choose and that conversion therapy is bullshit. Just kidding, that didn't happen. What did happen was that the Department of Health and Human Services announced a new unit that they may or may not have stolen from a handsmaid's tale, the Division of Conscious and Religious Freedom. This new division will protect healthcare workers who would prefer not to treat certain patients or provide certain procedures because of their religious or moral beliefs, and punish organizations that don't allow them to express their objections. Refusing to provide abortions or sex reassignment surgery are obvious examples, but this new rule would also protect a fertilization specialist who doesn't want to treat a lesbian couple, a nurse who won't provide care to a woman who just had an abortion, pediatrician who won't examine the child of a gay couple. If your first response is, well, just go to a different doctor, I'm willing to bet that you live in a city where that's easy to do. Not in one of the areas where 40% of LGBTQ people reported that it would be very difficult, if not impossible, to find a service at a different hospital if one turned them away. Or in one of the seven states where there's only one single abortion clinic left. Per usual, the ACLU is all over this, stating, should the administration choose to move forward to implement a discriminatory policy, we will see them in court. So if this sanctioned discrimination reminds you a little too much of, first they came for the socialists, take a moment to donate to the ACLU today. And also, maybe use all of the social medias to tell people, yeah, 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 government shut down, the Democrats blinked first, but have you heard the one about doctors saying, nah, I don't wanna treat you, and now I don't have to. I'm Kristen Bry, and thanks for watching Actions to Withstand.